Hello, this is Neil, the art instructor at MasterPaintingNow.com. Right, so I decided to do a review because this book is so awesome. The guy actually gave me, uh, uh, no, actually, I take that back. He didn't give me a free copy. I asked for a free copy because I always ask for copies when I do a review. Um, but instead, I just went ahead and bought it. It was only like nine bucks. It's well worth the nine dollars. It's the Shortcut Secrets of Figure Drawing. If you want to, if you want to get it, just go to the link in the description. Check it out. It's awesome. So I just want to do a quick review of it here. I own a lot of art books, and I'm kind of a tutorial fanatic um, with more than one subject, with writing and drawing and uh, growing pot. There's a bunch of subjects <laughs> I'm into physics, and I'd like to buy tutorials. I'm like a tutorial junkie or you know a course junkie, and you know I've listened to tons of courses online from University of Berkeley and stuff like that. Anyway, more to the point. This book here. If you want to bring your figure drawing to the next level, this book is so awesome. And all you have to do is use my teaching techniques. And if you know my methods, they're pretty simple. It is, hey, for example, you would go to one of these pages. And let's say this page here. And I'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit. You would draw what you see on this page, not all the letters and stuff, but you draw what you see on this page. And you would draw it a few times from references, uh, from this reference, and then you would draw it from your imagination the best you could. And then you go back to reference and then draw it again from imagination, draw from reference, draw it again from imagination, until you can draw what you see from imagination well. If you do that for every page in this book or for the, the major pages in this book, your figure drawings are going to be so much better. Now, right now, I'm working on my advanced figure course, and it, it is definitely the best course I've put together yet. Um, you just you just have to wait to see examples of it. It's really good. I might even um, you know post like a, a sneak preview or something soon, where you can kind of see what I've been working on for those that have been waiting forever for that. But until then, this book is really awesome, and uh, you know my my course will take it to a whole new level than this book does. But still, this book is awesome. It's well worth I think the, the nine bucks that they they charge for it. Here's just a few more pages. We'll scroll through here and just see some of the stuff that's in here. Um, some great. Um, when you, once you get the skeleton down to put it to more of a basic, you know, basic skeletal structure or even more of a stick man and then to, you know, master poses this way. Just, just so much great stuff in this book and, and, and there's not a whole lot of reading either. So for those that don't like reading, but really it's just doing the exercises that I say to do. That is to draw the page from reference a few times, draw from memory, draw from reference, go back and forth like that. And there's just a wealth of information in this in this book here, um, all about the skeletal structure and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and look at you have all this kind of stuff about the skulls, uh, the neck muscles. It shows you, like different angles and like bent back in different positions and how the muscles might look in those positions. Just really really good stuff. I just can't stress enough how how awesome this book is. And for the price, you can't beat it. It's better than you know a lot of the books I have out there that cost me a lot more money. You know better than Angie Loomis's books and. Um, and Hogarth and stuff like that, like that dynamic figure drawing, all that. They're great books, but this just goes through so much detail. And for the price, like I said, you just really can't beat it. Um, you know, this page right here would be a really great page to to study from, to draw it several times and then draw from memory. You can see the the back muscles here, um, the mapping out of it. You see that little hetch marks here. That's where the trapezius comes down. It comes around, attached to the scapula, comes around the scapula, comes down like this. And that's what actually gives it that shape is how it's attaching to the scapula. Anyway, there's really great stuff. I'm going to show a few more pages here uh, really quickly where you can see uh, there's just so much stuff in this book. There's tons of pages, like uh, more than 130 pages. This is a really great page. As you can see, it shows when the forearm turns over, how the radius is, is why it's S curved because it needs to turn over the ulna. Just great, great stuff here. Another great page. All the pages in here are, are, are excellent, but they're gonna they're just gonna bring your figures on to that next level. So much this is one of the most complicated parts to learn is all the muscles in the forearm. And this goes to great length uh, to teach you all that. And here, this is really cool because um when the arm is up like see when it's out like this, you know that uh, in, right somewhere in here you have the shoulder joint, right? You have the humerus bone and the scapula and everything. And this bone here, the uh caracobrachialis or the corcro the uh Coraco brachialis, however it's pronounced, don't really care. You just know the, what the muscle is. It comes and attaches to the scapula, to part of the scapula that comes. Anyway, I teach it all in, the, in, in my course, but it attaches to the scapula, comes down, attached to the inside of the humerus bone. And from this angle here, when you lift the arm up, you can actually see that muscle, and it's really important. And then also you can see the teres major, which actually 
like it's more of a back muscle it connects it connects mostly to the scapula and it comes and connects to the to the humerus as well but you can see these two muscles here from the under view and where it starts to develop the armpit within here um i would i would think this should come a little bit more closer to the bicep and then connect over here because it has to connect to the scapula rather than coming down like it does in this image but still a great stuff um these these muscles here coming over I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with this book. For the price, it's you just cannot go wrong. Like what, nine bucks? That's it. You know, like how how can you go wrong with that? And in fact, I'll even check really fast to make sure that that's still the price. Uh, it goes to great detail about the hands, about the feet, um, the muscles, and the skeletal structure of it. It's just a great, great resource. And if you ever need to like know something, you can just you kind of forgot, you can just quickly flip to it because it's just a great resource book. I'm just going through several pages here at a time. And just click on on randomly here and there, and the ones I remember being really good. Um, it says it goes through great details about the about the bones, muscles. Really, the kneecap is another one that you really need to learn, and this shows really important stuff you need to learn about it. Like not just the fact there's a there's the the cap here, that you have the kneecap, and you have the femur, and then you have the uh, tibia and the fibula. But that you have this tendon that connects the two. And this is important because that's what gives you that shape there. Or I think that's it might, might be. No, I think it's a tendon. It's not a ligament. That's a tendon. I'm pretty positive about that. Anyway, so it's important to know that that that's there, um, and you might not get that in, in a lot of books. So really awesome stuff. So anyway, just gonna show you a few more example pages. <laughs> Hope the guy doesn't. He said I can review it, and this is how I review. So you know, I'm gonna show you a lot of sample pages here, so you can get a really good idea of what the book is all about. Really great stuff on feet. Just a lot of great information throughout this book. So anyway, uh, there are also some full images here showing like how to put it all into practice in different angles. And you can learn a lot from those different angles. Right, so check out the book. Click on the link to check it out to learn more about it. Uh, it's just an awesome book and it's definitely worth checking out. At least just check out the link even if you don't end up getting it. It's a great book to have in your collection though. All right, so I was wrong. It's not nine dollars. Uh, I don't know if it used to be nine dollars, but now I think that's what I thought. That's what I paid for. But anyway, now it's fourteen ninety seven. Still, at fourteen ninety seven, this is a steal. I mean, look at you got a hundred and how many pages is this? One hundred and sixty one pages total. The last page goes into a little bit of uh, innards, which is weird for figure drawing, but nonetheless, um, look at these great angles here to learn from. Just awesome stuff. I would have, I would have personally. This is just me. I would have thrown down $30 for this book. Now, of course, I wouldn't have done that not knowing how good it was yet. <laughs> um, but hey, it's a money-back guarantee. If you don't like the book, just ask for your money back. He'll give it back to you. Uh, all these guys on ClickBank are really good about you know refunding money if you're not happy with something. So if for whatever reason you're not happy with it, you, you're always going to refund. Anyway, just go check out the link. Awesome stuff. All right, so next time um, I'll be doing a review of another course I, I found very, very useful, and it's a... Um, character drawing course. Just a fantastic course. If you want to learn about it right now, you can. I'll go ahead and just throw that link in there for you too, so if you want to check out the character draw caricature drawing course, it's great. It, he actually teaches you how to make money right away with, with drawing caricatures. Not only does he teach you how to draw caricatures, but he teaches you how to go out and make money, where to go online, where to go in, in, you know, in, in person to make money, and how to start making money, how to set up places to make money with character drawing. And it's actually not that hard um, to make money drawing car caricatures. You can even do it on, like, on a busy street corner somewhere. They do it in San Francisco all the time. Um, I used to actually make pretty good money drawing portraits and caricatures, and I would just go knocking on doors. Um, I was a good salesperson, and I've always been a top salesperson in the different different items I've sold, the different companies I worked for, and so I just used my sales you know, techniques on door-to-door -door knocking. I was already used to doing that anyway for selling knives and stuff, so it's like, hey, I'm selling caricatures and uh, I'm selling portrait drawings and, you know, uh, be surprised how many people actually bought them that way and all I had to do is show them a few of my examples and they're like oh wow you're awesome I really wanted you know I show them before and after as I show them the photo next to the drawing they're just like this is really great I got I gotta hire you and that was back when I was a lot lot younger in fact I used to even do that in my early I think it was till my teens I think it was 18 or so when I first started doing that and I, I did it off and on here and there it's just a great way to make fast money you go to fairs and stuff anyway it's a it's a great course it's well worth the money just for the knowledge of how to make money drawing characters is worth it. Uh, even if even if you already know how to draw characters, just that bit of information, he's a master in that in that field as far as 
how to market and make money doing it, the places to go online and make money doing it, and how to do it in person, and the things to do, like the tips he gives you on how to keep your business coming back. Like, don't draw exaggerated noses because unless the person has a really good sense of humor, they're not going to refer you to other people. They might not tell you, but they're going to be really turned off the fact you give them this big nose, and like they're going to go tell other people, uh, and they're not going to tell no one about you because they were dissatisfied with your business. But if you keep their face more proportionate to what they actually are and don't get all crazy with it, then they're going to, you know, you're going to get repeat business. And word of mouth is that's how I got most of my business. After I went out and got a few a few people here and there from door to door, most of my business after that was from word of mouth. They would tell their friend, would tell their friend, and then I would have phone calls. And so make sure you make business cards. Anyway, he tells you how to do it. It's awesome. Check it out. Um, I kind of already did a little short mini review of that. So I, I have to put the link in now. Thanks for watching.